And Ms. Malika Gade, who is, who is he? Who is he? Who am I leaving? <laughs> why am I leaving him? And why can't he please me? <laughs> <laughs> why do you need more pigtail and okra in the rag? So we are not in the kitchen, <laughs> obviously. We are outside because this is how to, but not, not how to cook. <laughs> Not how to season chicken, Kazian. <laughs> Not how to brown sugar. This is how to the comments where we look at some of the comments that you've given us over our time together. We respond to them and we have some fun. You ready? Ready. Let's go. <laughs> I am always nervous with comments because <laughs> sometimes you'll say a lot. You'll, you'll say a lot. I'm trying to be cool with it. Sometimes sour, lot. sometimes sweet. Yeah. <laughs> But a lot of time sweet when we are together, though. I find so. There's a lot of time sweet, yeah, and we yeah. appreciate it. I think it. they love us very much. I think so, too. <laughs> yeah, you have one to start? I have a good one. Okay, go. Um, Sunday School said, mm -hmm. I made this. She's talking about our sweet bread recipe. Yum. Mm -hmm. I made this, and it was a hit. My hubby kept asking who made it, because I can't bake to save my life. <laughs> Thank you is a boss recipe. Smiley face. Oh, we love that. <laughs> we love that. We I also love saving things. Basically, it really brings me a lot of joy when people actually try the recipes, yes. specifically things that you couldn't do before. Mm -hmm. Those are the best ones. And what happens there is it becomes a tradition in their home, yeah. which is what I really, really like about being on the show and showing people recipes. For sure. And they can add stuff and share with their family and, and keep it up. Yeah, I think uh, our viewers at home love, love, love them. Some Arlene, <laughs> since I brought you on board, my girl, they have been loving it. It's like my comment is, wow, thanks, Cassie, for bringing Arlene again. Hope we can see more episodes with her. Can't wait to try this method. And they were talking about cuckoo. That's from Fayola Cox. So Fayola Cox, Arlene has been with us. She is not going anywhere. And you continue to dazzle and delight. Yes, and the cuckoo is really, I, I also get a lot of in-person comments yeah. on the cuckoo recipe and they actually love it. People say it's a really easy method and they enjoy making it. Yeah, because I read another comment from the cuckoo where somebody was talking about their cuckoo is always lumpy, but thanks to your method, <laughs> it was nice and smooth and we love that. All right, so this is a salt fish for our salt fish recipe where I shocked everybody a little. And this is, the, <laughs> is this your salt fish? Yes. This is the stew salt <laughs> where fish. Where we put the coconut milk mm -hmm. in the salt fish and everybody was a little, No, you know. it, it, ha it had me on the edge of my seat, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I was a little bit concerned, but it was really good. Like, I'm not going to lie, it was real good. It was real good. So Jeremy says, mm -hmm. Jamaicans make something similar called rundown. They make it with salted mackerel. I love watching you guys. Run so we're down. not the only one making yeah. coconut milk and salted fish. I guess we'll have to run to Jamaica to try some rundown. <laughs> yeah, a couple of other people in, in that same video said that they did try the coconut milk and yeah. they wouldn't go back to the old way. No, because it was good. That yeah. sauce was so rich. Like, I can remember it. <laughs> like it was yesterday. <laughs> I can remember it like it was yesterday for sure. Now, I know a lot of you have a similar question. What is a food designer? Because you refer to yourself as food designer, Ali. Yes. Trini food designer, Ali. Yes. So well, please of course tell you know the, the Trini is because... You, you're, you're from Trinidad. I'm here. Mm -hmm. um, I guess when I started out, as you know, I'm self-taught. Yes. So I didn't feel like I had earned um, a chef title per se okay. just yet. But I was really passionate about um, just designing and presenting our local dishes mm -hmm. in some really elegant and unique ways. Yeah. So I always, I always tell people I really just started off doing all of our big meals into tiny fancy portions. And that, was, that is really the design aspect of it. I'm not necessarily recreating anything per yeah. se. I'm just sticking to our traditions, but trying to present it um, in a way that you know can be a little more internationally accepted. And small bites, are everybody loves small bites. Everybody loves small, <laughs> and I feel like you've always done that so well. I think the design element that I've noticed in you is that everything must look yes. appealing. Mm -hmm. It must be appetizing. And it just feels elegant. It feels like, you know, a, a, a next step up. Yes. I love that. I love <laughs> and I that. always say, you know, when you start cooking, even when you start with 
the first step, just be very thoughtful about your color and yeah. your flavor, and then yeah. the end result is guaranteed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. Like uh, one of the comments from Roy Hughes goes, Okay, I'm just gonna put this out there. Miss Arlene, I love you. <laughs> Miss Arlene. Miss Arlene. <laughs> you are the epitome of what cool looks like the best. And I agree. I feel like I tell you that all the time. You're so cool. You're so cool. One of my favorite parts about working on the show is, of course, all the experiences that I get to have uh, learning from the amazing chefs and cooks that come our way. And especially with Arlene, you have this way of explaining nice cool terms it always feels easy it always also makes me feel really confident mm -hmm. like when i step in the kitchen with you i know i'm safe whether i'm taking the stove or you taking the stove it's good it's going to be good <laughs> i'm glad i'm glad mm -hmm. you all appreciate the the explanation absolutely <laughs> absolutely so uh, one of the things now that you said i have to explain is what is medium and how much is medium <laughs> Those are two separate comments. What is medium? What is medium? And how, how much, much is medium? medium? Okay, cool. Which I think kind of falls into, I would say, a bad language, if you would, mm -hmm. um, in cooking. Like my mother and I, we have our own language where we say a tips of this, a tips of that, a schminx, a schminx, a this. schminx. Um, and you have to be around us to really know what it is. Yeah. Um, so when we say medium, it can be in terms of temperature. Right, which um, we know. Similarly, like if you do a steak, you do medium rare, that's based on temperature, how you cook okay. it. Yeah. Um, medium is really just that spot on your on your stove between low and high. That's medium. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, I honestly don't know another way. <laughs> okay, so to answer the question, what is medium? Basically, you're turning it up to the middle. To the middle, to between the middle. exactly in the middle, the middle. of low and high. That and is then what you're is good medium. to go. And how much was the other one? Yeah, how much is medium? How much is medium? So sometimes you want to say uh, medium pepper. Right, 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 right. And if you're accustomed to buying doubles, we would say slight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess that would be the next question. So the what next is slight? medium? Oh Lord. So, but we say slight means it's a little bit like three to four drops. Mm -hmm. Um, heavy would be, you know, just the whole bottle. layer it down, on, it the, down. On, on the thing. Mm -hmm. But medium is, um, I guess, a tolerable heat. Yeah. You know, and that will, of course, be determined by the type of pepper sauce that you have. What is the um, degree of heat on, on your pepper sauce or your peppers as it would. So medium is, again, in the middle. In the middle, <laughs> in the middle. Medium is a safe space to play in the middle. Yes. So to bring a little, um, I don't know, is this innuendo? Just to call it. So Malika Gordon, mm -hmm. this is for our okra rice mm -hmm. recipe. Yes. She says, how you like your okra rice? Oh Lord. <laughs> and she she says her, but I know she means you. Because she means me. More pigtail than rice, more okra and pigtail than rice. And then she, Malika, is saying, I saw what you did there. Leave him if he can't please you. <laughs> Malika, <laughs> Miss Malika, good afternoon. Who is him? She, she packed that up in her bag and carried that real far. <laughs> Where are we going with this comment? Where are we going? Are we still speaking about the been? same okra rice? <laughs> Who is this him? <laughs> Miss, Miss Kali, Malika, sorry, Miss Malika, good day. Who is, who is he? Who is he? Who am I leaving? <laughs> why am I leaving him? And why can't he please you? <laughs> <laughs> why do you need more pigtail and okra in the rice? I am going to politely leave that right there, okay? I'm going to politely leave that right there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Since we're on the topic of me, one other thing I wanted to address. So, El Tio Loco goes, whoever did your makeup, Kezi, is the real star of Boss MUA. Now, I'm not trying to put my makeup artist out there, but my makeup artist is definitely me all the time, every time. <laughs> For every show, forever. <laughs> I mean, their skills. Takes undeniable skills. And, you know and I've I'm... been asking Kazian to do my makeup for me since I started here. You no, know, I'm I ready. Say, come play, come play on my face. I'm ready anytime. Because no. I tell you, my makeup skills are zero. Could we do mm -hmm. a how to paint Arlene's face <laughs> where we skip all the food and we just do some makeup? Just as that sounds good. Yeah, because I'm not a makeup artist, I've but I'm happy had, to play. I've never had like a, what do you call it? A full beat? Yeah, a full face beat. Full face, never L had. Listen, <laughs> guys, if guys. You see my, you've seen my makeup No, bag. but you're it's so like pretty already. Phone. It's just two little things. You don't need the makeup, that's why. <laughs> but if you want it, thing. if you want it, I can help you out. Yes. 
I'm your, your friend. I will have so seen as people commenting on it, then mm -hmm. I want the I want the experience. You want the whole glam? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we, we have to hit Ali in the glam. <laughs> but Ali and our friends really love when we come together yes. and do our fun thing. It's always such a pleasure having you come from quite Tobago. <laughs> but really and truly, tell people, are you from Tobago? I wasn't born there, but mm -hmm. I've been living there for about 18 years. What? So, <laughs> so yeah, Tobagonian by extension. Yes. We love I that. I know, I'm a citizen, of course. We love that because it's the, the best mix of our twin islands. You know, you have a little Trini, mm -hmm. you have a little Tobago. This is how I describe it. Mm -hmm. You like living in the quiet. Right. And when you're ready for a little mm -hmm. bacchanal, you, you come across. a 20-minute plane right? Come on. Best Come of both worlds. I do have the best of both worlds. You get it easily, <laughs> and I love that for you. I don't know if I want to say some of these ones. I'm just going to going to leave them out. Oh, I like this one. Okay. Um, Kazi, I think you should introduce us to your granny. You always mention her. Maybe she can show us how to make one of your favorite dishes. I we love both that. we both mention our grandmas a lot. Mm -hmm. Our grandmas and your mom. Yes. My mom too, but mostly my grandma. I will be straight with you all. I've asked my granny several <laughs> times to come on the show, even if it's just a wave so you all could see her, but she is camera shy. Nope. She said her cooking is for home. Mommy, on the other hand, She's every time I ask her, she goes, I don't know about that. That's for you. <laughs> That's for you. You do that. No, but I must. I could just stay in the background. I have to ring up auntie and ask her to <laughs> just beg, a little beg, a little beg to see if she'll come true. I've said if you'll come together as a team, mm -hmm. learn in Tobago, mm -hmm. and all my friends call her moms. They yeah. just call moms, what we could do? What? Maybe, what she, might, maybe do? she might be a little more encouraged. Moms, if you're watching <laughs> this, what we'll do? What shall we do? <laughs> Anytime I'm in Tobago next, we need to take, we need to take how to to Tobago. I think it's time. Production, if you are listening, because I know you are, we need to take how to to Tobago. Arlene, back me up. Of course. Back me up. OK. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. have a host. You have a built-in host there in Tobago. I'm Why saying. And we need you all to tell us what <laughs> recipes you all want us to make when we touch down in Tobago. For mm -hmm. sure, for sure, for sure. I have a list, you know. There was <laughs> someone who commented a full list. So you guys tell me if any of these are on your list. Tomato choker, bygone choker, fry karaili, biscuit cake, Alu pie, bus up shot, turnovers, tamron ball, tulum, sada roti, kalaloo, curry mango, fish tea, fruit cocktail with milk, pastel, and parasad. What? This is one person <laughs> asking for One person. This? Oh my God. This is Janil Holder. Miss Janil, <laughs> we have some things in store for you. You might not get all, but you're getting some. You're getting some for sure. She'll get some for sure. For which, sure. which one do you think you could give us next? Um, you could do a little roti. A little roti. We could do a little roti, I we, could do a little roti and we could do something sweet. I love the sound of that. <laughs> I love the sound of that. I always have so much with fun with you, my friend. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming and thank you guys for joining us all the time. Keep commenting, keep following us. Join us everywhere because we are everywhere on the Facebook, the Instagram, the Pinterest, the TikTok, the Twitter, and of course, our favorite YouTube. Anything else, my friend? Nothing else. You did it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. This mm -hmm. was a lot of fun. I love these. I love these. <laughs> we need to finish these drinks, though. This is this is just juice, by the way. <laughs> just just a little juice. <laughs> not, not an extra. Just a little juice. Until next time, girl. Yes. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye.